Y'all, off camera, this lipstick looks decent. But off camera, on camera, this lipstick looks like a crackhead. Okay? This is the... This is some cheap lipstick. Black Radiance. Uh, Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream. I, for some reason, a lot of the mattes that I've been kind of drawn to... I don't know if it's my lips or if it's like a formula or something in the lipstick that just really makes my lips dry. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I have some type of like special lips or something. And then, or maybe I'm just using like a really, really cheap lipstick. So, I am back, you guys. This is not going to be a hair video, but I wanted to share with you guys what I got in my hair because I know that I'm going to have some people ask. But this is some cheap-ass beauty supply store hair. Um, I really just wanted something different done to my head, and I really didn't want to spend a lot of money. <laughs> I'm a mom. I got, like, bills, okay? Your girl is on a budget. So, I bought me some cheap hair, one of those... Um, one of that, those packs with, that you get, like, everything in one pack. It's like you get four bundles of hair in, like, one pack for 20 bucks. I don't even remember the brand or anything like that. But it's pretty much the same shit. It's all the same, okay? So, this is my hair, y'all. And I'm really, really in love with it. I'm, I'm loving it. It's so natural looking. And I think that it looks very good. You know, I think that it looks good in general, not even considering that I only paid 20 bucks for it. Um, let me charge my, my camera up. Let me look for my, my charger so I can charge my, my camera up. So I'm not going to lose y'all. Yeah, I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I'm lazy. I don't be wanting to charge my camera up or nothing. Let's plug that up. Okay, Okay, and I also wanted to show y'all my nails. Look at my nails. They're not really, really like the best of what I really, really want. But I have a little bit of polish or something on them. But these are my nails. One side is different. So for those of you who don't know, I am a nail tech. Yes, I have a lot of shit going on. Okay, I'm like everything. But, um, I have recently fallen back in love with nails. So, I've been doing nails. That's what I've been doing. And, yes. Yeah, so, your girl has been busy. She's been hustling. She's been <clears throat> trying to kind of, like, make money moves, okay? <laughs> I've been trying to get it, y'all. And it ain't even trying anymore. I'm, like, actually doing this. Like, I'm doing it. I'm not even trying. So, yeah. I just wanted to get on here and show my face. I don't even know if I'm going to talk about anything. I do want to show you guys this um, this stuff right here. I'm pretty sure everybody knows what this is. This is something that everybody used to use back in the day. But this is an alternative to those expensive-ass wax sticks that a lot of people use to kind of keep their natural hair blended in with their weaves and stuff and their leave outs. I use this stuff and I wasn't even planning on buying I didn't even buy this. My mom actually bought this and left it at my house and I was like not about to pay $21 for a damn wax stick when this stuff only cost two bucks. It was free for me and it was already at my house. Um, it's really really thick so it's the same stuff and I think you actually they recommend that you actually um, use like their shampoo and conditioner to remove the actual product out of your hair. So I'm not going to be spending money, y'all. I have spent way too much money on hair shit, hair products. I have spent out and I've gotten to the point now to where I've used and I've spent so much that I, I kind of realized that I just like simple stuff. So, this is really simple for me. It's really cheap and affordable. I'm not going to be all that. I'm not going to be spending all that money on stuff that I might, even, I might not even like. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, I use that on my leave out. And it has done a pretty, pretty, pretty awesome job of um, making my hair blend in. Y'all see how long this stuff is? 
long, long, long. I mean, I'm, let me let me stand up so y'all can see. And see, it's all, it shakes and bounces and all that wonderfulness that everybody loves about weaves and all that. So, yeah. I have, what have I been doing? I have been reading books. I have a whole shitload of books over here, y'all. Let me show you guys what I've been reading, like a few of these books. This is only like a little small section of stuff that I got. But these are the these are like three books that I have like right by my nightstand that I've been, you know, dipping into occasionally. I try to read at least a chapter or two out of each book every two days or something like that so this is the book right here this is the name of this book is called power i love this book if you're not into books and bossing up and becoming and doing all that and self self personal growth self-improvement kind of thing you probably don't even want to watch this part because i'm just a deep ass girl and i ain't I'm not with that shallow stuff, y'all. I I'm, I got depth going on inside of me. So I need y'all to feel me. And for those of you who don't like this type of thing, I'm trying not to cuss. So that's why I'm sounding all weird. But for those of y'all who do not like this type of thing, don't even like, just do yourself a favor and probably just don't even watch. But if you do, and I'm pretty sure for those of you who don't like this type of thing, you actually do really need to be watching this because... This is supposed to change the game. This is going to change the game. But anyway, the name of those, this book is called Power. And it is literally about how to, it's teaching you how to have power, how to be a leader. It's basically teaching you that. Um, when I read like the first few chapters of this book, so when you open the book, and I'm not going to get into the actual book itself, but when you open the book, there are like little intros to each chapter of the book. It's the 48 Laws of Power. And some of these, I mean, if you're, if you're one of those people who are kind of like, you're really, really like sensitive and you need your ears covered up all the time and you don't like to hear the real shit. You don't like to keep it 100 and this book isn't for you. This book is for people who are raw, who are real, who want something out of life, who, um, who want to be a boss. I can't explain that any anymore, but it's a very good book. If you guys are interested, check this book out. The name of it is called The 48 Laws of Power, and the author is Robert Greene. I, um, like I said, I don't, I haven't read this whole entire book, but from the, just based on how much I've read, I pretty much understand, you know, the book itself. There are quotes from the Bible on here, y'all. There are quotes from, um... There are stories about people who these have actually, who things have actually happened to. Scenarios of the greatest of the great. I'm talking about like Shakespeare and um, Albert Einstein and just people who have really, really kind of like made a mark on this planet. So, yeah, if you want to be a boss and you want to be a leader and you know that you are going in that direction then i definitely recommend you read this book if you are a business owner if you um if you're a leader if you do something that you're motivating consistently you're motivating people and you're talking to a lot of people and you want people to follow you you definitely need to read this book so this next book i'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this book this book is called the Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It is a very powerful book. I've only written a, read a few chapters of this book, but the reason why I've, I really haven't kind of dug deep into this book is because I've read so many books like this book, and I kind of already know what it, what, what it is that I'm looking for. So, um, but <clears throat> very, very good book. This is kind of, this book will change the game for you. You are... <clears throat> In order to be a successful person and to be like to in order to be a successful person you have to change your mindset and like if you think 
like if your life if you're if you have been unsuccessful and you haven't really been making any progress in your life it's because of the way you're thinking it's because of the way your your brain is programmed so this type of book is going to reprogram your brain into success and I know that kind of sounds like really so simple but it really is that simple it's actually type it's actually kind of a secret because it's something that you're like oh you're like wow once you finally get it you're like oh I get it now and it was simple it's always been there and this book is gonna help you develop that mindset that you need to go forward okay so this next book is called how to talk to anyone 92 little tricks for big success in relationships everybody needs this book everybody who wants to be a anybody needs to read this book because this book helps you learn how to talk to people it <clears throat> we all weren't born with the ability to I mean if you if you are born with the ability to kind of just like talk to anybody and kind of just build anything then you're just blessed my dear but if you're like me I wasn't born with the ability to like just talk to anybody and be able to kind of seal deals and kind of just know how to talk to people if that makes sense and I'm not trying to say like actually communicating with people but I'm saying like when you're in business and you really want to kind of like seal those deals and kind of talk business you need to learn how to talk to people because you cannot be walking up to somebody trying to handle some business on that everyday shit that you've been doing it's not gonna work you're gonna have to kind of like learn a lingo and this is the this is the type of book that you need to read. I'm not gonna say that this is the best um how to communicate with how to talk to anybody book because it's it's a really good thing. It teaches you how to it it tells you how to talk to people and it actually gives you an example. But for somebody like me that's always on the go, I just don't have time to just sit down and read every single scenario. I mean I guess I do if I really wanted the time to, but that is a book that I've been reading to grow myself and to develop myself. And I just want to share you share with you guys. I can't talk today. I'm just trying to share some things with you guys because we've got some we've got to know more than just the latest beauty trends and the flyest clothes and like we've got to know more than that I see a lot of beautiful girls on a regular basis and they're so beautiful they're so put together they look really really good on the outside but on the inside they don't know how to talk they don't know how to mingle they don't know how to communicate they don't know how to be boss like and act boss like but they look good they look good they're dressed really nice the hair is on point they probably buy the nicest 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 clothes and shoes and have the nicest hair in their head and they have everything just perfectly just nice but they don't have and what we really kind of like what we really need to start doing y'all instead of spending all this money on bullshit like clothes and shoes and hair and makeup and cell phones and all this other type of stuff we really need to kind of be investing in these books we need to invest in our brains invest in things that are actually going to help us grow more so that we can actually be able to buy more than just what our check is going to allow us about we can actually control it we can actually be that we can actually i don't want to be the person like i i feel like i'm at this point in my life now to where i don't want to be somebody that's just getting a check i want to be somebody that's signing checks and i think that if you're going to live one life you should just you should totally totally want that too so i mean i mean because what's the point What's the point in living a life when something is always being given to you? I want to be the person that's doing it, that I can give what, give myself whatever I wanted to. And, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of went back into doing nails because I want to be able to do my own thing. And to be honest with y'all, nails is actually a very, very, if you know how to do it right and you know how to be professional about it and you know how to really build a business, um you can actually make a lot of damn money in the spa industry nail industry and i don't know if a lot of people don't know that but there are a lot of people that make a lot of money they make millions 
um, you know, in the spa industry. And for me, the spa industry, the nail industry, the beauty industry kind of gives me the chance to be creative in my own way, but on my business, like on my, I can't, I don't know if I can explain it to y'all. I don't want to sound stupid because my brain is just all over the place. I wasn't even really planning on making this damn video, but I was like, you know what? Let me make this video. Husband is gone. Child is gone. And I'm going to make a video. So I just think that we should all uh, strive to do what we really want to do in life. And it's going to take work. It's not something that you can just say, oh, I'm going to do this. I mean, you can, but you actually have to put some action behind that. You got to put some help behind that, some, some movement behind that. We can all say what we want to do, but at the end of the day, if we are not doing anything and we're not putting any action towards it, it's not going to happen. And I want to be able to know how to do that in the best, most efficient way I can. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to share with y'all. I don't want this video to be super duper duper long. I know y'all are like so used to kind of like these like overly processed YouTube videos. And I'm just like, I don't, because I, I feel like I find myself repeating some of the same stuff that a lot of people have said on here. And I don't want to be that way. I want y'all to come to my channel and I want you guys to get to know that y'all are getting something different, something real and uncut and raw and I just want y'all to be able to know that I am an ordinary girl just like you I like the cheap shit I want to look good on the budget I don't want to spend a lot of money I want to be a boss I want to do the same stuff that y'all want to do so um if y'all have any questions about my hair my weight loss or anything like that I will be glad to share some insight I love talking to people about how I've lost weight and you know, my personal development and how I've grown mentally and because it's changed my life. It's put more money in my pocket. It's improved my relationships so much. It's kind of just liberated me in so many ways. And I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be able to feel this and know that I did this shit and I can help other people feel that way too. So <clears throat> don't be depressed. Get up, do something, make something happen. I don't care if you're at home and you are literally like about to, to commit suicide or some shit. Like there's always a chance. There's always a, a day, a time when you can like fix that. And all you have to do is tell yourself that you can do it, that you want to do it. And that's it. Just go from there. So yeah, I am done. I am done, y'all. I am done. I am done. So, yeah, pick up this stuff right here. Stop spending all y'all damn money on this, on these expensive ass products that these people be wanting you to buy because it's not worth it. I'm telling you, it's not worth it. Buy this stuff if you want your leave outs to kind of like stay nice and flat and smooth and like you want to blend it in now mind you y'all i'm gonna tell y'all this it takes time to kind of learn how to blend in especially if you have natural hair or your hair is like a different texture and it's not like somebody else's hair so it takes time to kind of figure out what your hair likes what you like and what's going to work for you but i like it just keep keep messing with it keep trying i mean there's no harm in that there's no harm in that don't feel don't be afraid of the stuff that everybody wants you to be afraid of like for me i was so afraid of damn glue going on my hair like hair glue i just did never do my hair and i don't have time to do so in so i just put some glue in my head and that's it so i mean i know how to to get it out i can get it out with baby oil or whatever any kind of oil is not that difficult so um yeah I'm done, y'all. I'm done. I'm done. So, make sure you like, subscribe, thumbs up this video, share this video with your friends. Um, watch this video. Let it kind of resolve and soak in your mind. Stop watching so much damn reality show. Stop it. Stop watching so much of that stuff, y'all. It's just not good for you. It's not. It's not good for you. Learn about somebody else's business and all that. It's, it's juicy and it feels good to your brain, but it's really not what you need, you know? Don't waste your time focusing on other folks' negativity and their drama, okay? It ain't gonna do nothing for you at all. So just leave it at the door. Don't even bother. Find something more productive to do with your time. 
read, invest in yourself, and keep it moving. So, yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. I know this video was awful. <laughs> I will see y'all on the next video, and until then, peace.